In the last video I have started to introduce to you the theory of James D. Thompson about the task interdependence. That actually it is this interdependence and this is the point that determines what kind of uh, organizational structure we are going to have. And I have also written down the three different kinds or three different types of technology. So the first one was the mediating. So mediating. The second one was the long linked. So long linked and the final one was the intensive so intensive so let's begin with the uh, most intuitive thing and that is going to be the form of task interdependence so that how is what is going to be the flow the flow of our product or of our service through our company how is it going to flow so in the mediating one it is the most simple you can imagine it is going to be that there is some kind of task and it comes to our company here is our employee and he processes it and then it comes out so it is very simple we have got something in and then out and then we are going to have several of these employees so here's going to be third one and again some input and some output so this is very simple uh, imagine maybe uh, some bank where you come and only a simple clerk is able to handle your request and to for better imagination i would bring the example of a gymnastic team so gymnastic team because that's how it works, you know, usually in a gymnastics uh, there are several team members, so here they are, the team members, and they are, they are doing their performance separately, so they are separated, they do not depend on each other at the actual time, but the outcome is, is going to influence the whole organization, and that is very important, so we are, we are now moving uh, to the coordination, and what is going to be there? We have said um, that these this, uh, performances, these individual and separated ones, are going to influence the wall performance. So what kind of coordination we would like to have? We would like to have some standards, so standardization. Standardization. We would like to rely on the fact that every hour gymnast is going to do some standardized performance and he is going to perform very well. So we can move to the strategy for reducing the costs. Well, imagine we, this every hour uh, employee is making some profit. So how to make more profit? Well, to increase the number of customers. So to increase, increase number of customers, of customers. And finally, what is the cost of the coordination? Well, when you imagine the coordination is very simple. We just create some standards and then we would like to integrate them into company. So the cost is going to be very low. So very low. Now we are going to the long linked type of a technology and we begin with the nice drawing of, of uh, how is going to be the flow of the product in our company. It is going to be sequential. Sequential. So you imagine uh, that maybe imagine a rugby i like sports so so i will put here rugby there is going to be some uh, some defensive player that begins the game and then there is some intermediary and finally there is offensive and this happens in a sequence so the performance of a first uh, sequence member influences the last one so the wall performance so they happen in this kind of a sequence and that is very interesting and very different from the first company where if if the if the me member number one has failed well we have had some losses maybe in our profits but if uh, some member fails in a sequential type of technology our all our whole production line failed and that is going to be a big problem for us so what is going to be important in the coordination well the planning and scheduling so planning planning and and scheduling scheduling because you have already seen that from from this drawing we really need to plan our activities and schedule our timetable and now when we are 
uh, getting to the strategy for reducing the costs. Well, so try to imagine this as a company that maybe creates uh, some some writing notebooks. So from from this uh, last point, there is uh, here is going to be maybe some some wood. We have here some wood, and this this first employee processes it to the paper. So here will be some paper, and finally this one is going to produce some notebooks. How can you reduce the uncertainty in the environment? If this one fails, what you can have there? Maybe you can have some reserve paper there, so for a few days it will not be a problem for you. So we are going to create something so-called the Slack resources. So Slack resources. And you, those really are the resources that you uh, put into your storage room and keep them for the case that uh, one, one part of your sequence fails or maybe there is some absenteeism. So you are able to replace with these reserve or these slag resources. And another thing uh, that can help you to reduce the uncertainty is called the vertical integration. So here is first point and here is vertical vertical integration integration and I'm bringing uh, a more about the vertical integration in one of my previous videos but for now imagine that th these are free companies so here is one company that produces wood and there is a paper company and finally the notebook producing company how can we reduce uncertainty well we simply take over of our supplier so that we do not rely maybe he slept not really well and he has got bad mood and he will decide okay guys I will not sell you the wool today so we will not be able to produce the paper on the other hand what about our distributor so this is our distributor and he also slept not very well and he decides okay today guys we are not doing your business so we vertically integrate ourselves and take over our suppliers or our distributors and with a final point, I think you can guess that the cost of coordination is going to be medium. So, medium. And finally, uh, the intensive type of a technology. And here, I think you can imagine um, a hospital. So, hospital. Imagine uh, that some patient is going to come and he is going to get to some, some emergency department. So... We have our emergency department and then they decide that okay you are you need some some x-ray so they will send him to x-ray so here will be x-ray but you also uh, maybe need some testing laboratory so they send him also to testing laboratory and what is going to happen then well they will return these results or they can send him directly or maybe through some intermediary and then the results are going to get back maybe to our first emergency and they will evaluate that okay you are healthy or you are not healthy so you can see uh, that it is going to be some sense of a team and the importance in our coordination is going to be the mutual adjustment so mutual adjustment adjustment and the the whole idea what is wrong with each patient determines the selection and co combination of activities and technology so so you can really imagine this as a working team here is a one team member here is another one so here we determine okay you need this sequence and you need uh, this department and then you are getting back to us so let's get back or let's get to our next point how to reduce the uncertainty in this kind of environment and we will do it through the specialism so specialism imagine it as in sense of a company you often see some companies that are maybe just focused on a cancer and this is specialism so we try to create some some narrow focus so narrow focus because operating uh, this kind of a company is very expensive so here the cost of coordination is very high and we simply can reduce it that okay we are not going to heal any kind of uh, illnesses and any kind of problems but we will really specialize maybe on a cancer and thanks to that we can reduce some cost and we can reduce also the environmental uncertainty so 
These were the three different types of technology. We have began with the mediating one, where you can imagine a gymnastic team. Then we have continued with the long length, where we held some sequences. And finally, we have intensive type of a technology, where you can imagine it as a, as a hospital. So hopefully, see you in the next video.